So it's Steelers week. Ravens versus Steelers. Um, Steelers are undefeated. They're coming to Baltimore. Um, yeah. How you feel about this game, B? I feel like it's going to be really tough for, for Baltimore. Um, you know, their defense, obviously their defense is stacked, and they just added Yannick and Gonkwe. Yeah. That's a, that's a great addition, you know, on the other side of Matt Judon. Uh, they're they're going to be getting after Roethlisberger, right? But Pittsburgh has Juju. They've got Deontay Johnson. They've got James Washington. They've got Eric Ebron at tight end. You know, they, they've got a pretty, you know, a decent run game. They got Chase Claypool, who they, they just drafted. Um, yeah. They're going to be tough to stop. I think that Baltimore has a good shot. Uh, you know, Ben's older now. He's not the player that he, that he used to be. His yeah. arm's not what it used to be. So I think that, you know, Humphrey and Peters have a shot at, at, at getting a couple of uh, turnovers off of Ben. You know, he's coming off a three-interception game. Yeah. You know, so I think they, they're, they're pretty evenly matched. You know the Steelers' offense versus the Ravens' defense. You know a lot of playmakers in Steel uh, in Pittsburgh. A lot of playmakers on the Ravens' defense. Um, the Steelers' defense, I think, has a big advantage over Baltimore's offense at this point. Uh, you know T.J. Watt and Bud Dupree. I think they're going to be getting after Lamar all day long. Well, uh, but the but well um well yeah yeah uh, look, they have a really good defense mm-hmm. and. But Lamar is the X factor. As as much as I harp on the Ravens' offense, Lamar, Hollywood, and Mark Andrews, you know, those are three really good players right there. But yeah, no, you're right though. I do have concerns about the O line holding up. I do have concerns about the run game getting going. And if the Steelers are able to contain Hollywood and Mark Andrews, yeah, obviously I question everybody else's ability on that team to get get it going so it could be a struggle and yeah like you said like the defense the defense is going to do their job in the game but doing their job means what holding them to 21 points could mean they're an explosive offense so if they score 21 24 points you should expect that if they score anything less than that then the defense really did the job the question is are we going to be able to put up more points than that yeah, th- this game's going to be all on Lamar's shoulders, uh, and more more to the point, on his legs. He's going to have to make a lot of plays outside of the pocket. He's going to have to make a lot of plays running the ball, because I mean I just don't trust the uh, the Ravens wide receivers to get open consistently, and, and even if they get open, to catch the ball. Uh, you know, like the last few weeks, I'm hoping to see more Devin Duvernay in the offense, yeah, and less Miles Boykin, yeah. But we'll sure. see. You know, we'll see if they actually make that switch. Hopefully, they were just waiting for the buy, right? Like, yeah, waiting for the buy, and then we're going to put Devin into the into the offense more, and and they'll we'll see that deployed against Pittsburgh. But I don't know. So I'll say this. So I look, I'm picking the Ravens to win, and. As tough as their defense is, I think, you know, a division game, Lamar's already seen that defense twice, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they know what they're up against. They know who they're playing against. And and also, the Steelers' defense, they're good, but they're not great. And they, can, they tend to give up points down the stretch as well, right? Mm-hmm. They did it against Philly a couple weeks ago. They did it against Tennessee just on Sunday. Um you can find holes in the defense. And I think that's where we'll have the advantage late, you know, in the second half to be able to put up some points. It's just a matter of our defense containing their, their offense. And yeah, I think we'll do it. It's going to be on Marcus Peters making uh, calculated or taking calculated risks. Yeah. You know, he, he likes to, he likes to jump routes and he likes to make big plays. Uh, sometimes that gets him beat. So he, he's going to have to be a little more cautious uh, where he takes those risks. Because I do think they're going to need to force a couple turnovers to win this one. Well, I'm putting that more on the, you know, the the pass rush, right? Well, I want to, well, I want to see, well, what I want to see is Wink Martindale drop less blitzes, and and you know, you just got Yannick, you know, we got Matt Judon, you know, we're paying big money there. I want to see our edges get to Ben Roethlisberger. I want to see a defensive front get to get to Ben Roethlisberger. You know, Brandon Williams is back now. You know, we got Clay's Campbell in the middle. Our defensive line, our, our front four, is stacked. So mm-hmm. I want to see, I want to see us get after him without 
without a blitz. Yeah. Uh, you know, that would be ideal, you know, and, and we talked about the Ravens even from before the, the season started, the best secondary in the league. You know, I think, yeah. I think hands down mm-hmm. and as good as the Steelers receivers are, and they're very talented. They're not, you know, DeAndre Hopkins and, and, you know, Mike Thomas kind of level receivers. So, you know, I think the, the Ravens corners can handle them, uh, you know, if they can get sufficient pressure just with their, what just with their front without having to blitz a lot. Like yeah. you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm picking, we want to do scores now. Yeah, yeah that's fine. All right. I'm going to pick the Ravens to win. It's going to be somewhat close, but I, I say by a touchdown. I'm going to say 20, 24 17. 24 17. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking a touchdown also. I'm thinking 28 21, but I'm going with Pittsburgh this week. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't think. I don't think the Ravens are going to be able to protect Lamar well enough to to you know sustain their offense for the entire game and get the win. All right, so there you have it. Uh, another big test for the Ravens. We'll see how they handle it, and uh, go Ravens.